Hi there, this is Ritesh and welcome to my channel. In my previous video, I have covered how you can configure SQS with your Lambda via SAM. And in this video, uh, I'll show you how you can configure DynamoDB uh, in your SAM template. Also, I'll show you how you can do some CRUD operation in DynamoDB through your Lambda function. So let's go and get started. So uh, I'm going to create a new project. Create it quickly. I want a G version, then node 14. I'll name it DynamoDB test. So I'll go with Hello World example and it's created. Now let's open this code. Yeah, so let's open template YAML and we have a, a Lambda function here already. Uh, now let's add DynamoDB as well. So for that you can uh, do, you can search it, AWS SAM DynamoDB. Go to the document and there you will find the configuration and you will find the code snippet there. So you can see we have a, a one Lambda function is here and other resources DynamoDB table. Just grab this, I'll copy it, I'll come to my code and paste it here. Make sure your indentation is proper, otherwise it will throw error. And I'll name this table test DynamoDB table and uh, the type is AWS DynamoDB table, let it be. It should be uh, DynamoDB table, otherwise it won't work. And in the properties, we have few things like uh, attribute definition, then key schema, then throughput. So <clears throat> in definition, as you all know that uh, DynamoDB is a uh, NoSQL database, but it requires few attributes, like it uh, needs primary key, and you can also specify sort key if you want uh, your data to be arranged properly. So uh, here in this code, I have an attribute with a name ID and it is of type string. And in the key schema, uh, we have defined that this ID is of type has. That means this ID is the primary key of that table. So I'm not going to define other attributes as it's a NoSQL database. We can add whatever we want in this table, but uh, we have to specify if uh, we are going to use any primary key or sort key. So that things will go here. Otherwise, other attributes are not required here. Also, we need to uh, define this throughput with the uh, read capacity and write capacity. Let it be five. And now if we deploy it, uh, you can see that this will create a DynamoDB table in our AWS console. So let's go and deploy. So I'll do SAM build then SAM deploy, uh, as this is first time deployment. So I'll need guided, guided flag here. Let's do this. So I'll name this uh, Dynamo DB test. That's it. Uh, the reason, let it be US West 2. Confirm changes before deploy, no. Allow, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, let it deploy. Yeah, so this is deployed. If you go to AWS Cloud and if you refresh this, uh, sorry, this is the stack DynamoDB test. Uh, so it's been created. And if you go here, you'll see a hello world fun function got created and uh, some policies and this table also got created. Let's go and see the table. Yeah, you can see the table name is DynamoDB test, test DynamoDB table. And in the details, you can see the ARN and item count is zero. That means nothing is there right now. Mm, and we don't have any, any index right now. Uh, let's go to view item. 
it's empty right now. So let's go and do some CRUD operation. Uh, so I'll do some CRUD operation through this Lambda function. So in order to do that, uh, this Lambda should have access, should have uh, the permission to do following operations. So for that, we are going to attach policies. Mm, uh, there are various policies which you can use for your, uh, as per your requirement. So right now I only want to do CRUD operation. So I'm going to attach policies. And sorry, and I'm going to uh, give full access uh, to, uh, to do any operation in DynamoDB table. So I'll, the policy name is Amazon. No DB full. So this policy will give permission to this Lambda to do CRUD operation. Now let's go to this Lambda. Here it is. And I'll delete all the comments from here. And now let's write our code. So first thing is we are going to insert uh, one item to our DynamoDB table. So let's first import our AWS SDK. After that, I'll configure AWS. the reason by default I'm uh, using US West 2. <clears throat> After that uh, I'm going to take a Danmo DB instance document client and that's it we have a document client now now we can do any operation with this object so i want to do operation in the table so i need a table name here so let me grab from here i'll copy this i'll paste it here so now let's go and insert some item to this table. So let's create a payload first. In the params I'll give table name, then items, whatever I want to insert. So in each item, we have to specify the ID. Uh, as you remember, we have defined ID as a primary key here. So we need to provide ID and it should be unique and it should be string as well. So for, for it to be unique, I'll do date now, which will give time in millisecond and I'll convert it to string. And as this is a NoSQL, you can insert any other data like uh, I'll name it uh, info, and I can insert first name each yeah whatever you want so this is my payload now and I'll directly insert this to DynamoDB to this table okay so now I'll do doc client dot uh, put and here I'll pass the params and I'm not going to use callback here. As you can see in my auto completion, it's saying the second parameter is a callback, but I'll convert it to promise. Uh, 
uh, also this is async operation so i have to put a wait here and now i'll do some error handling also and in case of error i'll just do console log for now console dot error i'll log the error here and after come after this operation gets completed i'll uh, do console log successfully inserted item okay and uh, we are not going to call this via api so we don't need this i'll remove this also this response and looks everything fine here so let's go and deploy this and let's see so guys here is a typo let me correct it before deployment and um, also you have to make sure that uh, this package whatever you're using here uh, this should I have an entry in package.json so for that uh, you have to go inside this hello world function hello world folder and there you have to do npm install aws sdk and this will create an entry in package.json if you go here you can see now you have a aws sdk independency so always make sure that whatever package you are using in your lambda function uh, you have to uh, register that uh, package that library in package json so let it install and after that we'll do the deployment so there was a so there is a typo guys uh, this should be config and this should be item now quickly let's redeploy it So this is deployed. Now let's go and trigger it once again. This time it ran it successfully. Now if I go here and in the log, you can see successfully inserted item. Now let's go and verify. So this is the table right now it's empty. If I refresh this again, now you can see a entry here. Let's open and you can see we have an id and we had one more field uh, called as info uh, which was of type object map so if you go to json you can view our items so in info we had first name and h and m uh, denotes that it's a map type so we have seen how we can insert item to the dynamo db right now i only have two attributes here you can have it as much as you require so that's it guys i think this video is getting longer i'll create part two of this uh, video where i'll show you the remaining thing the remaining operations that you can do in DynamoDB. so i hope this video is useful to you don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you i'll see you in the part two